Hi guys, today I will introduce you the Mercedes E-Class W211 Xenon headlight. Basically, this headlight is used for at the pre-facelift models from 2002 till 2008. In this first video, I will introduce you and I will give you information for each single part that consists this xenon headlight. I will show you the part number of this headlight of the parts, replaceable parts, and gives a stated some detailed information. This headlight concretely is an adaptive type headlight, which means that when you are turning the curves to the right or to the left, this projector also turns to the right or to the left. I will explain you in a minute the difference between these non-adaptive and adaptive type headlights for Mercedes E-Class W211. Let me start with the Xenon igniter. Here, your low beam is located here. If you have a standard xenon headlight, your low beam is located here. If you have a bi xenon headlight, configuration headlight, your low beam and a high beam is located at the same bulb at the projector. In order to open the headlight cup, you have to turn it counterclockwise. And you will see your igniter. It's removable, it's replaceable igniter. In order to release the igniter from the projector, you just have to turn it counterclockwise and the plug will be ejected. And then you have to pull it out gently. This is your xenon igniter. It, it is one of the most common xenon igniters, Hella third and fourth generation. This one is without silver shielding, metal shielding. The part number, Hella part number for this igniter is 5DD008319, middle line 10. Actually, the fourth generation, also the same igniter, has a version with the uh, sil silver uh, cover. They are both replaceable. This one is your igniter. And then you will see your xenon bulb. In order to take off the xenon bulb, bulb, you have to release the clips, springs located at each side of the xenon bulb, and then you can pull it out. The xenon bulb is D2S type xenon bulb. D2S type xenon bulb. You can, uh, because it's a projection uh, type headlight, if you have a faulty bulb, then you have to source it D. To S type bulb and then here we have a indicator socket your bulb type is PY 21 W then here we have a High beam bulb for non non xenon headlights. Your high, high beam bulb is H7. One of the most common bulbs. You can find it in every gas station. And then you have a parking light bulb. It's W5W type. And most importantly, underneath your headlight, you have the control units. I already removed most of the bulbs and left only one. In order to remove your ballast unit, you need Torx 20, T20. It's again Hellamate. Part number for the ballast, Hella, uh, Hella part number is 5DV008-290, middle line 00. This ballast unit 
has a lot of aftermarket options, but most of them are very unreliable and not worthy for the hassle to change it because uh, replacing the ballast unit is a very difficult process and sometimes requires complete remo uh, removal of the bumper. So always try to use uh, original uh, replacement parts. And next to the ballast unit, here you have a stated this this one is this headlight is a adaptive type headlight, AFS type headlight. This is your I AFS module. Since this is this headlight comes with uh, inside the original Hella box, Hella doesn't have a right to use the uh, Mercedes logo. The but that's why I sourced the. IFS modules, original IFS modules, in order to show you. Here I will show you the Mercedes part numbers. These all these three are interchangeable. Uh, this one, for example, is A003 820 58 26, and then again completely interchangeable. You have a002 820 60 26 and here we have another version this one again inter interchangeable A003 820 51 26 most of the time these IFS modules AFS modules need coding after fitment let me check whether I have forgotten something to cover. Maybe I have to show you the vertical adjustment motor part number. It's 734, 857, middle line 02. This uh, vertical adjustment motor basically regulates your projector inside uh, by pushing forward or pulling, pulling the projector back. And May, uh, by this uh, operation, it's uh, either uh, move the projector, your move the beam up or move the beam uh, to the low position. Uh, IFS model in turn commands your projector to move to the right or to the left. As you can see, there is a uh, uh, AFS mechanism under the projector. This mechanism exactly uh, moves the projector to the right or to the left. I think that's all for this headlight guys. I will also show you the non-adaptive type headlight in the next video and I will also show you uh, how to troubleshoot your Xenon headlight for Mercedes W211 in the next videos. For now take care Thanks for watching, all the best, bye for now.